Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. What the hell is that? I can't even hear you. <laughs> it's that 2018. I'm bringing the 2019. Oh, okay. The end of 2018 into the 2019. Yes. It's called What's Up, Inez. Oh, okay. That was a whisper, girl. I'm yeah. Like, it's I... that, uh, what is it? That whispering talk thing that was all over 2018. I'm trying to, you know, get in on that. Oh, I thought you were doing something else, girl. Don't be whispering. Listen, you know what that, that's, you know, that's all romanticized. I was like, what, 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 well, what's going on up here? You keep on getting on me about that and trying to find a man. I'm just trying to get rid of Oh, you practicing for with me? Okay, okay. Yeah. That, that was good. That was good. That was okay. That was good because I was like, what is that? What are you doing right now? Okay, I get it. It didn't turn you on, did it? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Not even close. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Well, happy new year to everybody. Happy, happy new, new year. year to you. You, you know. too. It's been, we took a nice little break, yes. but it wasn't a break. Yeah, it was a little small hiatus. Yes. You know, but now. I know, like, I was just, I was just looking at you. I was like, when was the last time I seen you? I know. It was, like, like early December? I think so. I think so. Yeah, we had breakfast, and of course, you got on me again. Um, but it was early December, and, you know, we caught up, talked, uh, planned out what we we're going to do for, for the season okay. four, which we are starting today. Yeah, so it's been a couple of weeks yes. since I've seen you. Okay. Uh, What's been going on? Let's pop the bottles. Let's get oh, it going. Yeah, Let's, right. Uh, what you just, do? Uh, you know, holiday folks were in town. Mm-hmm. You know, just kind of kept it chill. Worked, um, working on always, always working. I feel like I'm never not working. Yes, so that's always a good thing. But that was basically it. It was pretty mm-hmm. chill. No travel or anything. No, like no that. travel. No nothing like that. Uh, it was kind of nice to be home for a little bit. Nice. You okay. know, yeah. Uh, finally took down the, um, the decorations, girl. <laughs> getting down that damn tree, getting everything. Uh, so now my my place looks back to normal. All it's right, not, it's yeah. not festive yeah. anymore. Okay, okay. Well, I so, didn't do decoration. I don't do all. It's too much. Oh, see, so you, you just <laughs> bah humbug. I don't like people come over to my house. They're like, "Wow, it's so festive." Yeah, in I here. don't do all that. I was like, "Listen, you know, it's once a year. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to be festive and into the moment." I mean. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and all you know, that. All that when you came over, stuff, everybody. it was it was yeah, it was just yeah, a bit. It was, of, you know, it's nice. It's it nice. was nice, you know. But so we're back to the 2019. Back to the routine. So yes, uh, trying to get know, it going before we get into yes. hot topics. So it's going to be a two parter hot topics. Yeah, let's talk a little bit of my gripes already. Okay. For 2019. 2019. Let's go. I'm trying. I, you know, my attitude was coming with a more positive attitude, which I do. Mm-hmm. Just little, you know, little things like one. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, it's great to be back in the studio. Yes. You know, you kind of, you know, we're back. Back so, with our crew. Yay. So parking. Okay. Girl, I, I, that's why I, I realized that's why yeah. you come like 50 minutes early, like an hour early. Or do Uber. That's what I yeah. tell you. Uber, Lyft. And you like sit in your car. Yeah. Because I saw your parking all extra close. So I'm like yeah. a mile away. Yeah. So they're doing construction or yes. working on whatever. You know, yes. in L.A., everything's always working, right? Mm-hmm. So the guys move their truck and their cones. Uh-huh. So I'm thinking, yo, they're done. I'm about to get a parking, right? <laughs> so I'm sitting there waiting and waiting mm-hmm. and waiting. They're like, do, 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 do. Girl, lies. Taking their time. They were just um, fixing the cones so they could leave <laughs> and come back and have a parking spot. And I was like, oh, oh, y'all playing with my emotions yeah, right now? Because you know they saw you. Yeah. You know oh, they saw you. I was like, you. they could have been like, no, you know. Yeah. I was like, fuck all y'all early yeah. in the morning. Like, you know, in the morning, just fucking with my emotions. Because yes. you, and they knew it. And they laughed and drove away. I was like, <laughs> oh, this is what we're doing this 2019. morning. Yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. I was like, yo, well, I understand you're doing your job, mm-hmm. but all you got is be like, no, mm-hmm. it's not. No, you said you saw me yeah. <laughs> sit there. I feel like you're very like emotional about this because they saw me and they're just sitting there and I'm like, OK, you guys, I see they're moving the cones. I'm like, great. I'm going to get mm-hmm. prime parking. Bye. <laughs> they fucked with my emotions. I was like. Whatever, wasted ten minutes. You should have got their um, what is it, their um, license or something. Like whatever, I was just like whatever. I hope whatever you're having, you know, doesn't sit in your tummy while making me sit in there like for ten minutes. (laughs) Putting some voodoo on them now. (laughs) No, I was just like that was that was wicked. Yeah, they saw me. They knew I was waiting. Yeah, because you know a lot of times they do move their stuff and then they're out. No, yeah. 
That was it. So that, that was, was my it. gripe for today, this morning. Okay. Any other gripes from 2018? You 2019, 2019, see? see? Already. Already. You still stuck in the <laughs> eight, 2018. No. It's a new year. Yeah. Couldn't wait for 2018 to be over. Yeah. It was a it rough was, one. It, it was a rough one. I yeah. think I was talking to uh, quite a few people and everybody was saying mm-hmm. 2018 was a pretty rough mm-hmm. year for everybody. Yeah. Just where, everywhere you can oh, think yeah. of, it was a rough one. But, you know, we're, I, I woke up, so it's a good day. <laughs> It's going to always be a good day when you wake up. I like, uh, another okay. day. <laughs> you were able to get up at that bed or wherever well, you are. Yes. You know, it's going to always be a good day. You know, always. you got to make it a good day. You got to believe it oh, and achieve absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, I was just, you know, you know, just a little gripe. Like, damn, yeah. L.A., you know, traffic. Yeah, we're that's ripe, my gripe. We're, uh, we're already <laughs> back to the... L.A. traffic. Listen. It was so nice night when everybody mm-hmm. was gone. You yes. know, L.A. Out is of town, a, a, a town of transplants. People from all over the place. Yeah. So, so when it's holiday time, mm-hmm. everybody and their mama, mm-hmm. everybody leaves. So yeah. you have the free. There is no traffic. It's mm-hmm. amazing, man. That I was like, we're right yeah. back to this bullshit. Yes. Uh, listen, people don't know how to drive, or they drive crazy, or they're on these little damn. What is these little scooter? Oh, uh, girl, these scooter thingies. Like, girl, listen, like, I did ain't you, got time. Well, you know, some man was, you know, in L.A. They have a tendency to love high speed chases on the freeway. You get, yeah. you get, and they broadcast them. Yeah, they do all of that. You, you really think that's <laughs> movie shit? No, it's for real. In LA. No, like, I know. They love to do that. Yeah. So I guess some dude high speed mm-hmm. ca- chase like hit some dude on a scooter oh my and hit God. and run on a scooter. And kept going. Wow. Like, it was a whole thing. But, you know, these are the things about these scooter things. People are driving around yeah. and thinking that um, they have the right of way. Yes. They're not paying attention. Yes. They're just like doing whatever they want to do. I feel like you need to have a helmet on with that. You're thing. supposed to. Okay. It's see? a motorized vehicle. Yeah, see. So you're supposed to have a med- even with a bike. Yeah, even with a bike. And I see a lot of people without them, par- even parents with their kids, like, what is happening right now? Like, this is just crazy. People don't know what they're doing. It's just too much. I'm just like, stop it. <laughs> just stop it. And you drive like an old lady, so I don't know what Listen, your problem is. Listen, I drive responsibly, okay? <laughs> I've gotten hit twice from drunk drivers. I refuse. Mm-mm. It's all about being responsible. Or take a Lyft or Uber. I'm mm-hmm. telling. That's my fave thing. You, but... You. You're really promoting Lyft and Uber right now. I need this to be is, a spokesperson. Oh, well, so I was say, this is an unpaid. Can I get some money? Yeah, no. This is excuse me. This is a this is an unpaid sponsor. Because you know, you know me, and I. Every time I go anywhere with you guys, my friends, y'all always drive because I don't feel like because I get an, annoyed with drivers, so I hate to drive. So it's like I might as well, you know. But you have great Uber stories too. Uber yeah. drivers aren't the greatest. No, they're not. I've had one that was. You know what? I'm not going to. He was a little racist. But I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> but that's a long story for another day. <laughs> but anyway, I, I could tell you some stories. But so now you know, you know. Okay. Well, yeah. It's there's a lot more gripes, but we go. You know, get into hot topics. Yeah, because there's a lot going on in the world right now. My God, a lot. I feel like we haven't. I feel like. We're just doing catch up right now. I feel like it. it's, you know me, I got a list. <laughs> <laughs> She's more I organized. I just come in, it's like, okay, what are we talking about? Let's talk about Because I couldn't it. wait to get your opinion on these things. I'm just, sure you couldn't. You know, because it's just, it's too much. All right. So we're going to start off with your favorite friend. Who? Now who? <laughs> who my friend now? Your president. <laughs> oh, Lord. You mean your president? Because I mean, listen, no, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. This man is out. Shut down. Uh, out of control. He said, here's, shut it down. Yeah, okay. And then here's, I know, and it's still in the shutdown. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem they're going to fight. Here's, here's the thing. He made empty promises mm-hmm. that he could not keep. First of all, I knew from get go. Oh yeah. When he said Mexico was going to pay for the wall. <laughs> Mexico. No. Yeah. As a matter of fact, ex-president Vicente Fox mm-hmm. told Trump he could go fuck himself. <laughs> I, know, I saw that. So, we already knew. Mm-hmm. So what did people actually think was going to happen? Yeah. That we weren't going to, taxpayers were not mm-hmm. going to pay for this wall? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think people just were like delusional. Abol- delusional. Mm-hmm. And now I hope all his supporters and people out there are really realizing what the mm-hmm. hell is really going on. Open their I'll, eyes. Open their eyes. The government's been shut down. This is probably the 20 long- days. Yeah. This is the longest shutdown e- ever. Mm-hmm. Even when Obama, you know, did his shutdown, mm-hmm. whatever, he was up there griping and yelling, mm-hmm. this is horrible, you know, all of this stuff. Mm-hmm. Here you are not giving a shit. Mm-hmm. People are now concerned. Now it's affecting 
us and all different manners. TSA workers. Girl. Calling in sick. Call, I went, what the hell am I going to go Coast to work? Coast Guard. I mean, where am I going to go to work? I'm a mm-hmm. t- you know, it's a shitty job as it is. Exactly. You know, you got to deal with yeah. all t- kinds of crazies. Mm-hmm. Now you tell me I got to go to work and I ain't getting yep. paid? Girl, there was a meme. Um, I died. I was like, uh-huh. see, this is why, you know, I hate the Internet because the <laughs> memes are ridiculous. But there was a meme of some guy, like some like security, you know, uh-huh. and there to go. This is what it's going on now when um, you um, TSA patting down fools going into yeah. the plane. Literally, he was just pat down one, two. OK, bye. One, two. <laughs> just let anybody. In. Yeah. yeah. Oh my I'm God. like, at this point. Yeah. You know, people are like, oh, well, they're saying they'll get retribution, they'll get their pay, mm-hmm. but how long is that going to exactly. be? I yeah. mean, it's going to the park, parts of, you know, going trickling mm-hmm. down to everybody. So yeah. at this point, I don't think he really gives a shit. Yeah. He, it could be closed down for forever. It, yeah. And he could care less because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, he he knows 2020 is around the corner. Mm-hmm. and He's he going to use this. Yeah, absolutely. And he wants to use this so he could get reelected in 2020 mm-hmm. and say, well, I got our wall. Mm-hmm. I did what I had to do. Blame the Democrats. Yeah, you know, but yeah, always blaming the Democrats. You know, it's, um, you know, billions of dollars. Who was it? What's that racist chick? Um, I hate to say her name because it gives her a little bit more. Oh, Tommy Loman or whatever her name is. That She's that oh, commentator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She, uh, uh, some 11 year old girl clapped back at her um, really good because mm-hmm. she was talking about uh, best five million, a billion dollars used for a while, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And the little girl was like, basically, um, we could have probably done better resources, water, education, mm-hmm. you know, living in Flint and getting that dirty ass water. Yeah. I guess, you know, you know, did yeah. she clap back? Did yeah. she say anything? Yeah. No. At, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. it's just people talking out of their mm-hmm. side of their mouth just to say something. Yeah. So, no, it's crazy, which kind of go inside with um, what I saw the other day. There's a GoFundMe for yeah. the wall. Mm-hmm. It's, it's yeah. 17 Yo, million. I, you know what? I, I'm like, down really? for that. No, no, no. I'm down for that at this point because but Flint they still ain't got. They couldn't even get a hundred thousand. Listen, like, listen these crazy. are dummies that are putting in your money. Then do what you got to do. Yeah. Let's take the. Let's open up our government and do the shit that we need to do to run mm-hmm. this country. You want to be a dummy and put your money into and your own personal money? That's what they're doing. By all means. Go and put your own damn personal money yeah. and quit affecting other people. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I'm down for that. Yeah. Go do a GoFundMe. And Go and put your own money. You want to put millions of dollars? <laughs> hey, by all means, let's keep my hard work in tax money yep. and all of this shit out of this. And let's keep the government moving and let's go into a, a, a different say. So, hey, mm-hmm. keep that GoFundMe going <laughs> and y'all can give it to him and y'all can may, be the ones to write yeah. your name and chisel it into the wall. That's all I'm saying. But everything else, yeah. kick rocks. I know. You think I, know. I said what they got? Seven million? It says 17 million. 17 million? Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going, people. Put in your own mm-hmm. money. It's I'm just, not mad at that. I mean, I'm not, but at the same time, it's like the priorities as but, Americans. But it's that's, just my, like that's my so point. These are dumb as people that want, the, then fine. Yeah. Go ahead and put your own fucking money. Don't take my money. I yeah. didn't ask for the government. Show. I need my money for other things. Yeah. People aren't getting. People are waiting for tax returns. There's all kinds of other shit. We mm-hmm. got we got education that is falling through the cracks. There's about to be a school strike out here in L. A. Yeah, there, oh, that's yes, another thing. That's yeah. another thing. We got other bigger issues at the mm-hmm. fucking wall. So if dummies want to put in their own damn money, by all means, mm-hmm. le- keep keep me do keep the government and doing shit. Even though the government doesn't really do much, anyways. I but mean. at least. We got something going on. Exactly. We are. I'm just saying. No, it's crazy. I'm not, again, whatever. If they can get that that wall built without my money, I didn't participate. (laughs) Just give me my tax refund. No, yeah, no. And I didn't (laughs) participate. back to work. Yeah. And I didn't participate. I don't, you know, it's like, it's stupidity. It is. It's just, it's so like one sided and no one wants to look at everything they just want to go by his word and that's the crazy part about it and it's like people listen like who was it I was watching The View oh yeah I watched okay. it I watched The View they were and crazy yesterday yeah. screaming were they going crazy who was on there yesterday well, uh, or who the, was on the there? topics and stuff no just the whole oh, they yeah, were the, screaming back and forth I'm like I can't even understand it, it about hot it. topics just, they've been getting they've been yes, getting heated lately oh yeah. oh yeah it's been getting heated but I watched the one where they had um, Kamala Harris. Mm. 
That was, that, a was really, a good one. that was a really, really good, mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. interview with someone who's in politics. Mm-hmm. You know, she's she came out of the Bay Area, whatever, whatnot. But she was talking some real sense. Mm-hmm. And if people stop, li- you know, ah, and mm-hmm. just shut your mouth and listen, mm-hmm. you might learn something. Because they were talking about her running for 20, you know, 20. she does. 2020, you know. Here's the thing. I think she would be after listening to her and what she was saying mm-hmm. and making common sense. Mm-hmm. I'm going to listen to her a little bit more and yeah. just kind of follow her a little bit more. Yeah. Um, she would be a great candidate, like for mm-hmm. my personal opinion, from what I heard, you know, and mm-hmm. the sense she was making, you know, she was talking about going back to paper ballots. Mm-hmm. She was saying they're like, well, why we're going backwards? She goes, because Russia can't hack into paper ballots. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Like, that, do being light. Like, it's that simple. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she was talking about some other things and whatever went on. It was making sense. But uh, at this point, mm-hmm. you know. We'll see where we're going. It's like mm-hmm. she they asked her they asked her a really point of like if you went up against Trump, someone like him, you know, and how he does politics mm-hmm. and how he does, you know, that back and forth thing. Mm-hmm. She's like, listen, I don't have time for a schoolyard like tantrums. Exactly. I'm like, beep, beep. That, exactly. She goes, we're going to stick to the topics mm-hmm. and we're going to get. And that's another thing I think mm-hmm. that was um, locking in mm-hmm. um, Hillary. Yeah. Uh, she just she wanted to play his game and go blow yeah. for blow because mm-hmm. she had a you know it was just it she was, had too much baggage from and, her and, husband and, yeah, and yeah. there was too much going on mm-hmm. that I don't even think even if she would have said let's yeah. stick to the topic people weren't listening yeah. to her That's you know true. he he was it's like that little kid who's poking at you mm-hmm. and then you you literally and have the to, bully yeah that bo- you know that kid that's poking mm-hmm. at you but you know. He's irritating, so you get mad and freak out. Mm-hmm. Instead, you got to take that bully and like take him down in mm-hmm. its own kind of verbiage. Yeah, that that's the only way they understand. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. But your your president is uh, out of control. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm-mm. I was like, no, because he ain't mine. <laughs> And who I think uh, Elizabeth Warren, she's trying. She's yeah, I think Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, she put into in the, running yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, put her name. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, and I Bernie know, Sanders. You know I think he's talking about running again. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not mad at any of these people. Yeah, anybody easy or good. At the end of the day, if uh, uh, we're moving in a different direction, mm-hmm. you see how many women mm-hmm. are now in More, public yeah. office and con- you know it's, all these all yeah. these things. So. It's it's gotten to a point Mm -hmm. where men are doing such a shitty ass job up there and women are now starting to come in and be like, Mm -hmm. okay, now like we really actually clean it up, get to work. We always do. Exactly. You got to clean up the shit and be like, okay, let's make it Mm -hmm. whatever. So it wouldn't this would probably if there was a woman going to run, Mm -hmm. I would think this is the the best time for a woman to run Mm -hmm. as far. I don't know what she went. Not sure. But she it probably play it tactfully better. Mm -hmm. You know, a woman in a really good. Good vice, a male what, vice president. Yeah. I wouldn't like you know, Beto. Like, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, we got a, a, whole, a whole bunch of young generation mm-hmm. of kids that are, le- you know, legal to vote. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a whole group of kids that are just like they want um, this. Uh, these generation now they want more than just the tradition. Mm-hmm. So they want somebody who's very um, open minded, cutting mm-hmm. edge, still speaks their mind. What's that girl? I forget her name, uh, but she's g- getting all kinds of um, Ortiz. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Um, you know Alexandria. They're, yeah, yeah, they're giving her all kinds of shit yeah. just because she's speaking her mind. But yeah. Trump is doing the same thing. So I exactly. don't. I don't understand what the problem is. No, the problem is that she's, she's a, a like she's yeah. a Latina woman. Yeah, that's the problem. They keep harping on it, and then they post it like she did and, a but, dance in that video, yeah, and so like what? they try to yeah. shame so, her. And yeah, try like, to show what yeah, the president grabbed the women by the pussy. Yes, goes, but can't. that's okay. But but, but her dancing thing. is the problem. But here's the thing. Now they're realizing that that shit. Because mm-hmm. he got a, you, it's going to take a lot. Yeah. Back in the day, you could, oh, that would have been a scandal. Yeah. Nowadays, they're like, whatever, she was dancing. We're, let's, mm-hmm. let's, let's get to the topics mm-hmm. because. And he that, had an affair, but hey. Girl, okay. bye. Like at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I think the, nowadays, this shaming and trying mm-hmm. to shame, and her clapbacks are amazing. Oh, yeah, she's good. She's, she's good. good. But she's good. that's what I'm saying. Ooh, her clapbacks are real good that they'd be like, uh, you know, taking down posts, trying to mm-hmm. attack her and things like that. So we'll yeah. see where the government is going from yes. here. Yes. I know. We'll see time. how long. We'll see on the next couple of episodes if we tell you, oh, it's back running or we still in the foolishness. And listen, you don't want to go be traveling soon. You let us know. <laughs> 
girl. If you get through or not. Uh, is it, am I going to have to be at the airport like seven hours ahead of time? I, I feel like it, then you should do like a live like Instagram or something oh, yeah. like I'm that. I'm like, okay, I'm at the airport. Here's my TSA. You know, I have some clients that are TSA yeah. workers that mm-hmm. I wonder how they're doing. You know, mm-hmm. what is it? What's that like? These are, you know, people's yeah. livelihoods exactly. and what they're doing. And then, you know, they they, they made all this big ruckus mm-hmm. about uh, security. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's not important. I'm just saying <laughs> in the downright scheme of things, mm-hmm. that's just some bullshit to control people because it really isn't that important. Because mm-hmm. if our safety and a 9-11 ever occurring again, mm-hmm. There would be no such thing like, yo, you know what? We can't afford to shut down. We can't afford not for mm-hmm. these people to be in. Uh, um, the United it's going to take more than a while. There's it, it, too many different ways to. Absolutely. There'd know. be like, we got it. But when you got somebody who is, I want what I want and you got to give it to mm-hmm. me however I want to. It's very hard it's to. Yeah, it's really hard to negotiate. Mm-hmm. Now, Nancy Pelosi, she's not, you know, you got two bulls. Yeah. And then, uh, what's his name? Um, McConnell. The, like, yeah. That one. Oh, my God. Why do they, in Kentucky, why do they keep electing that man? <laughs> I don't understand did, it. What did, you, what did you say? Where was it at? In Kentucky. Okay. Where well, my the, brother lives. I'm okay, like, well, I need I'm to just, call him and be like, why do these folks again, keep electing him? Where is it at? Kentucky. Okay. Well, then. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't go he probably doesn't even go back to um stay he doesn't probably help anybody from what i've heard it's like the uh least educated um health care is like insane out there like he's people not helping anybody like familiarity but- and people don't like change and sometimes when all you you know if you're not educated in mm-hmm. politics yeah that name, so oh, okay, that's okay. I it's remember the same that. in Mississippi with that lady getting uh, reelected. Elected. It's the same shit. It's just like okay, that's right. She okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's the, it's not about well. Let me see what's really going on. Mm-hmm. Again, we keep people ignorant. You know, then they're just going to remember name recognition. Yeah. Why do you think this fool's in main main name recognition? Mm-hmm. Everybody think he can run everything because he was on a stupid reality TV show. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm like, no. really? The man been bankrupt four times. You think he go run a country? Come on now. Girl, Mm-mm. and still doing shady ass shit? Still ain't show his tax returns. And then you want to talk about other people? Like, Bye. stop it. Stop it. So, I swear to God. Enough on that man. Cause, anyway. You know, be, well, we just got a uh, new governor, Gavin yes. Newsom, Gavin, just Gavin sworn Newsom. in. Um, he's, he's you know, he could potentially be a 2020, you know. Yeah, I mean, he was um, he was um, the lieutenant governor first. So. Yeah, and then he was in San Francisco. He was oh, the mayor. Yes. oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah. he did. How a, was he out there? In San Francisco? Actually, you know what? He did a lot of changes and a lot of things mm-hmm. in San Francisco. He was very, very. You know, San Francisco is very progressive. Yeah. You know, very open minded mm-hmm. and like to to a certain extent. That's why a lot of times, you know, mm-hmm. North Cal, South Cal, we have just such different mm-hmm. mindsets. But he was great when he was he was in office out there. People loved him. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he did a good job. There was, you know, sure. He's a politician. We all have our our ups and downs, yes. you know. But at the end of the day, he still he was still for the people and mm-hmm. people loved him. That's why he's where he's at. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, I, and you know, and they love the fact at the time when he was in San Francisco, he wasn't married. He was like single. Oh yeah, I heard you about know, that. Yeah. he was single, popping, mm-hmm. you know, looking good. People were like, "Woo!" That's a, that's a very rare thing for someone yeah, who true. is not married yeah. to get into politics and be able to move ahead. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I don't know. I haven't been following him not too much lately, which is a bad thing, but. I don't know if he's married now or divorced. He, he's I, he got, married. He, he has four kids, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But at the time, he yeah. was, you know, he was single, dating. Mm-hmm. Shoot. I was like, whatever. Like, do your job. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, we got these really great, like, yeah. same with Kamala Harris. She was from, yeah. Ka- you know, California. Mm-hmm. Kamala, I think she was on The View and she, re- you know, she also from San Francisco, yeah. you know, DA, you know, prosecuting. That's mm-hmm. why she's like, uh, then it, that was the thing that I loved about her. Mm-hmm. She's like, listen. <laughs> and then they're like, this wall. She's like, the, the wall ain't going to keep these people out. I, it's that not. was the best. The, yeah. I was like, church, girl, church. <laughs> Finally. Finally, somebody's saying that this wall is not going to mm-hmm. keep these people out. You know, rape is, they're already here. A lot of oh, them. Yeah. Are, <laughs> and we'll get into that. We'll get into born, that. But we go get into that, too. Um, no, with uh, someone it came across... Um, it was on social media or something like that where she did like a uh, because she's on book tour right now with her book yeah and i guess some of the reporters that are following her one woman um was talking about it and how she didn't know what um her sorority was aka's Mm. and they were just going in on her on social media 
Who on the on Kamala or the, the on the reporter oh, yeah, about the, not the, knowing no, what AKA is yeah <laughs> oh. and sororities and all that stuff in the you know African American community and it was just like oh my god why don't these folks educate themselves before they start going and following and writing these pieces about because people because we don't need to what what are you talking about it's crazy we got a, a, somebody in 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 our main office talking about false news fake news we don't need to you don't that's need to true. verify you don't need to check anymore mm-hmm. you can write whatever the fuck you want to write now and it's supposed to be that's what i'm saying we're yeah. so now people now it seems like um people are educating the media instead of the that's, media ch- educating yeah. Them stuff. Yeah, you know, no, I know, I know. It's insane, but you know, it is what it is. So another thing with California, I don't know if you. I just found out about this. Uh, California, the teachers potentially going on strike. Mm-hmm. Betsy, where's where's Betsy DeVos? <laughs> Hello, Betsy. What's happening? Um, what are you talking about? The lady has no idea what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> She's in an office where she has no idea what she's doing, closing down all she cares. I think she comes from a world of yeah. something else, and she believes in, like, charter schools yeah. and paid schools mm-hmm. and things like that. Again, you know, this is what I, this is what we're saying. We're t- telling people, like, this is what we're You only see t- one way. There's in your view and your way of life, and it's like there's more than just your way. And it's like, why don't you educate yourself? Well, on what's really happening? Uh, unfortunately, people and trying to push your own well, view on we somebody. Don't want, how can they when we're having teachers on strike and there is no education? I'm just saying. And then you can't even get good teachers. The ones that want to say don't even large say classroom. Large. They're trying to shove more kids in a classroom, mm-hmm. cutting down. There's no books. There's nothing. But we're supposed to. But we're we're worried about a fucking wall. I, I, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Blue. <Bloop. Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, hey, okay, man, I mean, if you don't have money, then you're, you're just always going to be a dummy and you ain't going to get education. And then these poor teachers, we're, we're going to lose more and more mm-hmm. people wanting to be teachers. That's true. Because they're already underpaid. You know. Girl, at one point, could you believe this? Once in my life, mm-hmm. <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher because I was, yes, I was actually when I was in the third, fifth grade, mm-hmm. was it third or fifth grade? Can't remember. Um, I had a teacher who really changed my life. She was mm-hmm. a really good teacher, mm-hmm. and I really loved her, and I thought she was amazing. Mm-hmm. And I go, I want to be a teacher because she just impacted me so much. Mm-hmm. Girl, as I got older and found out how much these teachers were made, I was like, yeah. get the hell out of here. Oh. And I got to deal with all that bullshit? Yeah. And you know, I got a mouth? Yeah. Oh, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I was be like fire like that. <laughs> in a second, I'll be fighting with, with parents? <laughs> yeah. Like, why aren't you paying? No. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm better off. <laughs> Being, okay. I can see you and some kid, you know, talking uh, back to you. Yeah, as I'd be like, uh, what classroom, wh- whose name is on this wall? <laughs> Mine. And two, <laughs> uh, sit your, uh, they'd be like, damn, I hate going to Miss Laval's mm-hmm. class. She's so mean. Yep. Damn, tootin'. I'm cool, <laughs> but you better pay, pay attention. Yeah. Don't waste my time up in here. You don't want to learn? Get out. There's people here who want to learn. So I, w- I wouldn't do a good teacher. I'm yeah. <laughs> I want to be a good teacher. Yeah, I could tell. I'm a no. I'm I a tell. T- but here's the thing: I want to be a good teacher to yeah. little kids. Yeah, because little kids got smart ass mouth. I'll be yeah. like, uh, who are you talking to? <laughs> At least when I teach in my industry, yeah, it's different. Yeah, you're paying that's to true. be there. Okay, yeah, you don't want to learn. That's on you. Yeah, as long as you pay that check, clear. Hey, hey, yeah, you know what? Ching ching. So it's a whole different mind. ching ching. It's a whole different mindset. That's yeah. terrible. Let's right? hopefully you know things get cleared up soon and. Um, we can get them back to work because I know I do donate a lot to um, different um, donors choose dot org different um, classrooms and like they don't have food for the kids they don't have books they don't have no, pencil but, and paper but we're shutting down the government like, for a while it's just for insane a wall. to me <laughs> but we're shutting down the government for a while okay. and some of them are coming out of pocket to pay for a these things a lot of teachers a ninety lot, yeah. percent of uh, the teachers come out of pocket and they barely unless, get any money yeah unless you are at a private school yeah. where you're paying sixty to set you know you're paying sixty mm-hmm. to some are paying up to a hundred thousand dollars a year yeah. for your kid to go to elementary school middle school mm-hmm. high school you ain't getting what you need yeah it's public crazy. school which is Banana. So why are mm-hmm. we working? What do our tax dollars go mm-hmm. to? The roads are crappy. It's just it's like, just every you know traffic lights. Sh- out. That, it goes to a shutdown. But I mean, it all comes back to the shutdown <laughs> when you really think about it. Damn. 
<laughs> it really does. Okay. Well, if the government won't shut down, maybe that could work. Maybe Betsy Kivos could do her shit. Like, I what? Mean, somebody. You haven't heard anything? We really haven't. Well, they don't like us anyways. She's probably trying to fix that boat that crashed <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> And they don't like California. Government doesn't like California. They, he's talking about taking funding from California, and we pay the most taxes in the state to the federal government. And yeah, he's talking about taking the um, we, fire relief uh, yeah, fund. Yeah, I'm like, like what? really? Those are your people's. These are like a lot of these people that got here were celebrities. Yeah. Which you know, ain't my people. No, I'm talking about him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, him, those are yeah. his people. Remember, oh, yeah. he was hobnobbing yeah. and snobby. <laughs> That's to let you know. He don't care about you either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. Uh, he don't care about nobody. He, he, don't. He, don't. he don't even care about his wife. I mean, he don't care about nobody. He don't care about his kids. He don't mm-hmm. care about his wife. He don't care about nobody. Man. I wonder how how does how does he sleep at night? He must sleep real good. Girl, you took the words out of my mind. Out of my mind. Out of my mouth. <laughs> He in that damn care. cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah, he don't care about nobody but himself. He going to slip bed real nice. Just, you know, I just hope when he die. Hmm? On that note. <laughs> when he die, you know, he goes with a cleansed soul. <laughs> we do not wish any death no, on him. No, I didn't say I wish him death. I said, I hope when he dies, he goes with a clean soul. That's all I said. I didn't say nothing else. I didn't say no, wish oh nobody death. Oh, my Lord. I can't. I can't with you. <laughs> it's 2019. Is this going to be your energy? <laughs> What speaking my truth to, about things? I just thought I hope when he die he go with a clean soul and he repents. You know, Pence, this, repents. Yeah, <laughs> repents. You know, isn't he Christian? Uh, who knows? Is he Christian? God, what is he? I, we don't know. Every don't day know. it changes. Well, you know, I'm just saying. Well, whatever religion he follows, they say before you die you yeah. must repent. Yeah, that's true. So I hope he repents. That's all I said and go away with a clean soul. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fooling with you. I swear to God, I'm not. It's too much. It's too much. You know, it's just inc- it's, it's insane. But I do have to say, I'm really excited about all the women that are coming into um, Congress and everything that are got in. So I'm hoping some good things, you know, come about. And Listen, we can. I always say, after the darkness, there's always light. Yeah. You know, we're just in a dark period of time. Mm hmm. But there's, you know, it's like life. It's a universe. It, it goes in waves. Yeah, that's It goes true. in waves. There's nothing. We can never say that there's never been a dark period. There, mm-hmm. We can't. It goes in waves. It's just history and history repeating itself. Mm-hmm. It's what do we do to try to change that history so it's not so bad and yeah. devastating. That's all it is. That's I true. I mean, if you think about it, we've, we 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 had a great eight years of, you know, people were happy. There were times mm-hmm. there were people who were sad, but it wasn't yeah. this gloom and doom. Now we're in the gloom and doom. Yes. Now this is where... Last three years almost. Yeah. This is where time, mm-hmm. where, you, you know, this is where people have to really look at themselves, mm-hmm. um, look at the universe, look at the world. What are they trying to impact? How are they trying to change? What are they mm-hmm. doing? Because sometimes when you're too high, mm-hmm. you forget. And when you're too low, you forget. So it's just, it's the nature of the beast and mm-hmm. the, the way it, it works. Highs and lows, highs and lows. Mm-hmm. You know, where the, the goal is to try to maintain a good equal, equal balance in mm-hmm. both. But... That's not the reality. Yeah, you know, look at look at look at right now the devastation. I mean, we have we have storms and mm-hmm. you know it's just you know over heat. in I think Indonesia there was like a tsunami. Oh yeah, there's yeah. all kinds of things going on. You know, it's it's kind of that oh well, Mother Nature. You know, mm-hmm. it goes up and it goes down. It, it you know it's one of those things like what are we doing and how mm-hmm. are we bettering ourselves? And I think that's the main that should be a really main focus in mm-hmm. 2019. Yeah. What are you doing to better yourself and better this world? I like that. You know, not what what is somebody doing for me, but what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And I think that's that's a major issue. With everything that's going on with, you know, the breakdowns and mm-hmm. the, what are, I want, I want, but nobody's mm-hmm. saying, how am I impacting impacting, yeah. and how am I? And if it's only impacting yourself and your family or, you know, whoever else mm-hmm. or the people next to you, that's still an impact. Mm-hmm. So, you know, my, that was, you know, as much as I bitch and blah, blah, mm-hmm. whatever. But the main goal for 2019 is how am mm-hmm. I impacting myself and others around me? Mm-hmm. It could be a small community. What am I doing to better that? 
That's true. Because at That's the end good. of the day, we're looking, we're living in a world where it's all about me. Mm-hmm. It's all about me and what do I get, want. Yeah. And can I get, yeah. and, you know, get the newest this, it, it, the newest, newest that, that, you know, show this there, off, you talk about go that, here, go there. The social media. Yeah. You know, 90% of the people live a lifestyle that they, as a matter of fact, if y'all have Netflix, mm-hmm. you should watch the documentary. Shoot. What is it? It's about social media. And um, I was watching it and it was pretty, mm-hmm. it was, it was pretty insightful about how these people become famous mm-hmm. on social media mm-hmm. and what they say about their lives and from mm-hmm. Paris Hilton because, you know, she pretty much started a lot of that, you oh, know, yeah. social media, the TTYL, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. TT, you know, LY, whatever. Um, and um, I'm going to find out the name of that yeah. documentary and I'm going to, I highly recommend it. It was some, I forgot what it, I forgot what mm-hmm. it was called. We'll, but, we'll look it up. Yeah, we'll look it up and yeah. I'll go. But anyways, yeah. so, you know, that's just a thought for people to think about mm-hmm. what am I doing and what am I, how am yeah. I impacting things? Cause boy, it's things are out of control. Big time. Well, on that note, we're going to take a little break and then we'll come back with part two of Hot Topics. Bye. Thanks for listening. Take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day. Subscribe, rate, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and MoscatoandTea.com.